other podcasts are not entertaining you in the world. There comes a time when you need the number one podcast to save you from boredom. And since in the conversation podcast, we are here for the people always. Say how are you doing today? How are you doing today? I am your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, the best fan writer and director in St. Louis Facts, award-winning published author, actor, journalist, actor, business owner, nominated Hollywood music artist, number one bestseller, service of the year recipient, Lacey G. Soldier. Turn up, give me some more accolades. I need to go on for three minutes up in this piece. But now this is us. This is a conversation podcast. We are live right now. We are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. We are on Instagram. If you do not catch us today, you can catch us tomorrow wherever you listen to your podcast. It's iHeartRadio, Apple Music, Amazon. Listen, we own our whoever don't think we own our go check it. We own that mother. <laughs> But, y'all, we about to get this uh, show crack and have another great show. So, first up, we got, y'all already know the radio personality. Going to be doing her relationship show. Y'all already know Miss Busy Boss. We got Stacey White in the house. Hey, you guys. What's up? How y'all doing? Happy Monday. Let's get it. And he don't need nothing else. He already go for five minutes. So, it's we good. Flex. <laughs> it's about, well, there y'all already know we got the person. Who likes something sweet before the camera get on? Y'all know she like to eat, but if you want to see if she high, all you gotta do is look at her eyes. We got Tabitha to throw a shade. Shut I mean, would y'all rather me eat in y'all face or before they face? <laughs> Tabitha Shante on Facebook and Instagram. Happy Monday. Bars. All right. And listen, we got the next person. She thinks she the bestest, but she ain't now since she went to Texas. We got that story, Ricky, up in her nose. But if you want to know a story, she going to bring it to you. Up in here. And we can't see Ricky. Who raised this now? Who no, no. raised this now? Who raised this thing? All right. So the next person we got, y'all already know, she went from selling fentanyl, cocaine, crack. She said she finally got out of the drug business. So now she just sell, well, I guess just kind of a drug. She selling bombing fluid. We got Tara Michelle up in this one. You know what? Yep, I, I, I'll take that and bombing fluid sound fire. Um, hi, I'm Tara Michelle. Happy Monday, as the ladies have already stated. You can find me on Instagram as um, opinionated sense or opinionated underscore sense. Let me get my life together. You can find me on YouTube as opinionated sense. And yeah, let's have a great show. Terrence, see, this is why I said last week we're not the same. Nope. Mm -hmm. Do we right. doing drugs? Drugs. <laughs> Baby, I do not do drugs nor do I sell them. It's perfume behind me. It's not liquor. It's not drugs. It is fragrance. I don't know what else to say. Who raised these niggas? And then y'all already know, man. We got my boy, one of the greatest battle rappers up in here. Home, bone, long, gong, same home. You better duck, because if you come with some bullshit, they go be like, what the fuck? We got home bone up oh in this way. <laughs> hey, hey, you got to uh, you gotta eliminate that same home shit. Uh, uh, long, if I yeah. say long, gone afterward. Well, I got you nah, told. nah, that same home shit. Nah, I got you told. Done. Let them know. Talk to yeah, them. Yeah, that'd be uh, don't you ever disrespect me? They gotta say what the fuck I want to say. Oh say, my god! Who raised this nigga? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> That's crazy. Now y'all see what I deal with for real on a daily. Woo! Go ahead. I forget, I forget the light skinness of you. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I never met nobody stay, stay, stay last two minutes. I'm gonna say what. 
Carl, you got anything to say to the people, Tom? Why the hell is he in witness protection? <laughs> I'm done. 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 Oh Lord! Such is life. All right, man. Listen, we got my boy. Y'all already know one of the dopest producer, Nucci. Y'all already know he be smashing all the hoochie. Talking about he be getting the cooch at bars, nigga. Not bars, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What that do? Do you know what he doing? Who raised? Hey, 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 he's doing too much at once. All right. Hey, hey, Nucci without no hat on is crazy. <laughs> Listen, Nucci, you ain't got that to say. You on mute? You on mute, bro. We can't hear you, nigga. I'm over here getting high and working. <laughs> That's just it. Don't even let this eat. That's all I know how to do. Just get high and work. Listen, man. Who wrote what nah, what else coming over here? Hey, hey, listen. What else? What else is it to do with get high and work? Right. You heard me. Apparently, you start snitching and go into witness protection. No, T. What happened to you? Shit. What you talking about? Oh, across the street. That part. Bye. Oh, uh, no. I'm <laughs> like, yeah. Across the street. That part. She bye. That whole street. camera shut down. <laughs> Hey, listen, and then we I got my problem with this. Oh, shit. That's yeah. what I'm my bad. Are you damn right? You, you, you hey, up look. there? Hey, look, and then we got our boy back who always liked to rebel again. He backed out the three weeks because he got kidnapped by some aliens. Nigga, we got my boy Louie up in this. <laughs> what the fuck is up with you and rhyming tonight? Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's your favorite rapper. What is, what is favorite favorite rapper. Favorite rapper's favorite Oh, my rapper. God, bro. No, he said it wrong. He your favorite rapper's favorite, favorite rapper. Your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Favorite rapper's favorite hey, Louie, you got to do that shit again, bro. They were talking about your shit. Go ahead, Louis. I said, what it do, man? Catch me on Instagram, Gateway Louie, man. We back. We up. We outside. Y'all already know. We back. Hey, listen, Louie, why you been gone, man? The dudes been kicking the women's butt, bro. So Lies. That's oh, never happened know. on this show, know. ever. Yeah, he ain't lying. Boy, please. Hey, listen. Will Nick, Will Nick said, what's up, everybody? What up, though? Everybody. Everybody. That profile picture is crazy. <laughs> it threw me off one second. You tripping off of it? I was like, I wasn't gonna say nothing at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This nigga say Nucci Neptune. This nigga, they get for real now. Look at this profile. <laughs> all right. Who <laughs> said this nigga think he Neptune? All right, let's get it. Coming this. across early. This not first, not from my way. Hold on, we got it. Don't, don't be hating this shit because I'm the shit. First, say good evening, podcast. Good evening. Oh, she mentioned us this time. We we get in somewhere. We get in somewhere. Because who she only mentioned before? Not Lacey. You only mentioned me first. I mentioned Lacey. Crazy. The name of the show is Lacey and Uncensored. <laughs> wow. Okay, David Ruffin. Ain't nobody coming to see you. Oh, this stuff. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Hurting the group. I'm the best thing that ever happened to this damn group. All right, here we go. All right, first you know time. What in some aspects, maybe. Joe Biden steps down and Kamala Harris is the new candidate. What do y'all think about this? People want to know what you feel about this. Louie, don't try to go off up and store with you since you've been gone. Let's get it. He tried to run away. <laughs> Come back. Louie, put it. <laughs> Come back, nigga. I, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. I feel like it was a setup, man. I feel like it wasn't real. I feel like the Donald Trump stunt. I feel like if they really wanted to kill that man, they hit every other president. They ain't going to miss him. Trust me. So I feel like Biden didn't step down. So I feel like all of it is kind of like uh, it's all it's all orchestrated. I don't feel like it's nothing sincere about that. That's all I got to say about that. I like that. All right, Tara. Um, Kamala Harris is trash. I cannot tell you what she has done as the vice president. Nobody can tell you what she's done as vice president. I can't um, tell you what the president does. Listen, this woman is not black. Uh, this is why I want to start because so many people are saying they're going to vote for her just to get the first black woman in office. Her parents are Indian, okay? And they owned Jamaican slaves. Her parents, not two, three, four, five generations ago, just the last generation. Her parents. So we need to we need to really research this woman and her history when she was a lawyer, you know, versus 
the same crime being done by a black man and a white man and her locking all the black men up and let all the white men go. She is dangerous. She's married to a white Zionist. Left her black husband when she got her foot in the door and when he got her a white man. So the, the fact that you want to say that she's for us and you stand with her because you black and she black is mind boggling to me. I don't care who you vote for as long as you utilize your right to vote because our ancestors went through so much to make sure we had it as women and as people of color. But at the same time, please research these people before you vote for them. She is not that boo boo. And we're going to be in the same boat that we would have been with Biden. I'm going to say that our choices are World War Three versus Project 2025. So gear up. I'm still voting for RFK when you get done. <laughs> Fuck all that. All right, Tam. Uh, what do I think about Kamala? I'm yeah. keeping America great again. Duh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know how I feel. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do I really feel about her? I feel like a little bit of how Tara does, like, we really didn't, she wasn't um, in front of this campaign enough for me to have a, I feel like a well-versed opinion on her. Would I vote for her because she's a woman of color? I'm too old to do things like that. I feel a lot of young, she'll get a lot of the young votes because of that. Um, do I feel like Louie? Yes. Do I feel like a bunch of this shit was set up? Because yes, yeah, like so like right in front of your face. If you watch Scandal, like the whole thing, it's like the whole series playing out in our face. <laughs> so I don't know. It's all like fake. I don't trust it. But I just live here. <laughs> yeah, nah, all right, so what can I do? They ain't gonna listen to me. They ain't gonna kill me up because I got a real strong opinion. Nope. All right, Stacy. Where the money at? Who giving out the money? <laughs> I know that's right. Whoa. That's all I'm talking about. I don't know. I think I ain't quite as cap. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what Make America Great Again is going to talk. <laughs> Let me stop. I, say, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But I think um, I don't know how I feel about her. Really, I don't. I'm not really... I, I don't feel her. Like, I don't, I, yeah. She I makes a lot less, of money. I can care less about her, um, really. Uh -huh. um, so, with that being said, she's not my choice. Right. Marcia said, hey there, everyone. But can she win over Trump? No. Not this late in the game. Yeah, probably hey, not hey, from hey, the beginning. Hey, hey, she can she can right. go ahead, Tom. You can go. Yes, ahead. she can. Go ahead, I, don't think she, I don't think she can, nor will she. Um, I think as far as like that part of it goes, that's like their best move was to put her in the seat. Like Biden really only got there because of women and because he he put her on his ballot. Like dead the fuck ass. Without her, Biden would probably wouldn't be president right now. Um, but I don't fuck oh. with him. I don't <laughs> fuck with him. Like, I don't like it. I think I, I text my grandma when I seen this shit earlier because I be in my own world. You hear me? I don't be. When I seen this shit, you hear me? I text my grandma earlier and say, Oh, we at the end for real. <laughs> Not <laughs> <up>. <laughs> now, people be saying, people be saying, get close to God. That, that, hey, look, the Bible say, hell have no fury as a woman scorn. So it's my firm belief that, that the devil is a woman. Oh my God! <laughs> you know what? It's gonna be so, that type of night. All right. All right. So, so look, but look for real. And then they gonna vote. They said it's the devil gonna when the, when the Antichrist come back, everybody gonna love. Her. I'm telling you, everybody gonna get behind this black lady. She is not black. I know. I know this. All conversations. We not for the keep perpetuating that bullshit. Obama wasn't neither, but that's a different discussion. <laughs> well, he was African and white. At least he was but mixed with some kind of something. Tara, mm -hmm. she's only black when it's convenient. Exactly, she's only black when it's convenient. And it's hey, in my whole but adult I life, her. I have never forgotten who the vice president was, except when she was there. I was like, "Damn, who was his vice president? Where did she go? Hey, like, where has she been?" She disappeared. She, she knew what she was doing. She was behind the scenes, calling the shots, using him like a puppet. That nigga was old as fucking dirt. It is what it was. Fuck him. Fuck her. I mean, hey, I don't care who <laughs> in the presidency is at the end of the day. They don't run it. The king still gonna look the same. <laughs> hey, Miss B, you dig? Say hey, y'all. Uh... Hey, hey. The same. 
<laughs> Terry, you know she looks blacker than you, though, right? What? I mean, you know what type of Oh, you were ass. I thought nah, you just told yourself to stop. You told yourself not nah, to say, say it. say some words. <laughs> <laughs> that was the better decision. Hold on, listen, man. It's, it's, it was like word no, 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 But I'm, she I'm, still I'm right isn't. Back. I don't care what she looks. Out. She we isn't. Got, we got to see if a uh, silhouette tone bone finish with his, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, my, and I'm black in a bitch. <laughs> 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 my mama, I was just sitting there like, boy, you look like you look like one of them. You in yeah. witness protection. We see his teeth. Hey, that's how they, hey, they do it. All you see my motherfucking teeth, boy, I look black in a bitch. You hear me? <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm about to get out this computer and go to my phone. <laughs> uh, please. Crazy. Go ahead, Nooch. Yeah, man. Uh, she uh. <laughs> She fucked up. He fucked up. Uh, we all fucked up. Right. And and look, right now, <laughs> motherfuckers need to decide on whether they want to risk going to war with a war and shit that might touch American soil, which niggas today ain't never fucking seen, or either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dealing with this crazy bitch. Pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? Well, like I said, pick and choose. You can choose. That's where you at. That's where you at with it. Unless we get another candidate in that motherfucker that people finna vote for. <clears throat> Marcia said he look like he finna tell everything. <laughs> fucking funny. All right. Uh, I don't give no vibes and no snitches. You say, hey, see, 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 I got these people calling me snitches. <laughs> But you gotta vote for your senators and your congressmen. We, what, which one of them? The House or the Senate? Every damn seat is up for re-election. That's what we gotta be paying attention. We gotta get the yeah, old people out and the get new people in. I feel like everybody should have to do a four-year term and only can serve two year, two terms, and then that's for everything. I don't care what it is. Supreme Court too, people. exactly, because this for life. Everybody, bullshit I don't care what it is, because yeah. these motherfuckers be in their oldest dirt, still talking about how it was in 1872. <laughs> no lies alive. detected. Why are you real. still alive? Like you should not even be alive no more. Like, yeah, uh, I, that's just my that's my take. I don't like Kamala, Kamala, whatever the Coca 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 I don't like Koala, Koala Burke, I don't I don't like her. I've never liked her. I didn't like what she did when she was in California. I didn't like what she did when she faked like she was also pro black. I didn't like none of this shit. I didn't like the shit she did at the BET Awards. I didn't like none of it. Like I don't like her. When I hear her name, I cringe because I don't like her. She's yep. only black when it's convenient. She only <laughs> plays the black card when she want to reach out and. Get in touch with black people like she gonna show up in some fucking converse. Bitch, we don't even be wearing converses. Ricky said, I said what I said and then said a whole <laughs> <I saw laughs> and take it. Oh my god, all right, man. Next so you gonna topic. call me again like I ain't said. <laughs> Next topic, he says, he said, my wife was born. With female and male body oh parts. Oh my God. I'm not gay. Could you date someone that was born like that? I New swear, I just asked my baby this. I, I, just, I just asked my baby this, and he was like, shit, you, you, this is somebody for you, but it wouldn't be me. No, I, I, I literally just, when I think that. Ricky, you're not you, he didn't I say you. <laughs> Ricky, be mad when people do that to her. <laughs> no, I don't. Nucci. Roll the tape. I got a 20 Ricky. This nigga Nucci must can't hear. All right. No, he oh, didn't. There you go. There you go. Nah, I heard right, your shit. Right. They were just talking shit. Uh, okay. Uh, but fuck nah. I ain't fucking around with that shit. 
what if you uh-huh. liked them? What if you liked them a lot, and then you found out when y'all was gonna finally after a couple months? You found Man, out. that don't mean shit. <laughs> Something wrong with the anatomy down there, and it ain't matching up. You know what I'm saying? So they got a vagina and a wee wee. Yep. Oh man. Nah, I'm good. That's like, a whole hermaphrodite. Right. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Now you. Mm-mm. <laughs> Only motherfuckers who fucked with them was guys back in the day, and I think most of them did, other than you know. <laughs> Tom, man, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> his silence be hilarious. We already the fuck know what the fuck my ass is. <laughs> like dead ass, bro. Oh this shit, hey, hey, man, not days. This some fucked up shit going. People need to fucking pray. They need to see <laughs> me, oh, man. But you turn and understand it. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's caring and understanding, Tom. Yeah, so what don't don't, don't worry mean? about that wee wee. The wee wee don't, don't even work. It's just no, there for show. I, mean, I don't give a fuck about none of current. I don't even. I won't even know you to know that you can. <laughs> but you don't know that because it ain't like you sleeping with her on the first day. So it ain't like man, you can't fuck up, to- man. You you crazy as shit. If you think, I, 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 I. <laughs> hey, they can have that one. I ain't like for real, bro. Y'all trying to y'all trying to fuck with me. <laughs> now fucking with me, like straight up. Yeah, trying to fuck with me, like no. First, and this this nigga say my wife, and I'm not gay. Uh, you know, you <laughs> you done for, boy. You, you a past gay nigga. Yeah, and then the thing is, you you married, you got married, so that mean you, was, boy. A A these niggas nine days. <laughs> like, bro, that's bro. First of all, what if they waited till marriage and he didn't know? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> no, like, bro, hey, look, look, and then it hey, be a hey, niggas be going to jail behind shit like that, find out some shit Ooh. like that going on and kill a motherfucker, bro. Like, straight up in that moment, you can't handle no bullshit like that. That ain't some shit. man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Marcia said, Well, according to that video, you can buy it. never mind. According to the video, what video? <laughs> The video that we're talking about. It's a it's a video. Yeah. No, you want to see? You want to see it? You want to see the wee wee in the uh, hoo No. 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 You got to watch it. It's the reason that I ain't seen it because my timeline, my motherfucking phone don't even go through shit like my phone. No. You say that right? Yes. Like straight up. Yeah. You do. Yeah. What the hell is going on? I need, I need more. I don't fuck around. All right, I'll come down and see. All right, Louis. It's raining. Uh, trying to just still understand. (laughs) (laughs) Somebody that he didn't know that had another body part that they didn't know about. Like, I didn't know that it was even be a thing. We probably like, was saving myself from that. First of all, first of all, first of all, they need to, it needs to be a law enacted mandatory that if you have situations like that, that you have to divulge that within 30 minutes of having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, nigga. Nah, that need to be your that's opening a, introduction. Like, like that, right? I'm saying, if you know that that conversation is going in a direction to where, to where you looking at this person in any type of way other than just sociable, then you need to divulge that because that's a murder case. That's a murder case waiting to happen. If a person got into this space with you, and then you all of a sudden tell somebody like this, I don't. It ain't enough love. Money or nothing to change the fact then that somebody that you thought that you was in love with and act sexually is actually the same thing as you some kind of way. It's like that's not that's not right. You know what I'm saying? Real. 
Yeah, that ain't that ain't that ain't cool. But hey. now I now my whole. But listen, that. usually with a hermaphrodite that is a woman, the, the inside chromosomes are all female. The vagina is what works. The penis doesn't. It's a dead body part. Girl, bro. It's it, just it, for sure. It, it, it's it not matter. a boy. Yeah. It get hard and it can ejaculate. So, Sometimes, oh, not, all work. Work. not all hermaphrodites listen, work. Not all hermaphrodites work. Nothing. Hey, hey. Resemble him. <laughs> if you got a work. vagina and titties, it, then that's two that's against like one. You a girl. That's like me what the hell? That's like me. I can't say that because niggas who got titties. Don't don't this shit do not fucking count. What the fuck? You know the niggas who titties But do they have vaginas? See, the vaginas and the boobies is two. The penis is one. So the two beat the one. No, nah, no, nah, but that's a heavy <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Miss B, your dig says if it, you know, it, if it have titties and the other part she might and looks girl and look girly. And no style that said, would y'all date someone with two heads like the two headed girl that just got married? What the fuck? No, no she's talking about a good time. <laughs> like a joint twin. Like, I know, man, I think, at what <laughs> point? Point. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Lacey. Hold on, Lacey. Hey, at what point do we define word? Hey, hey, for real. Do we do hey, for like, real, word no more? Ain't sometimes you just don't nah, do bitch, something word. So if, if ain't no if everybody if ain't nothing word no more, then at what oh, point God. is something just word? So you just say man, no. That's this right? letter oh, people shit, shit, man. That's this letter people dead shit. Say, hell no. <laughs> Oh, all right, uh, all right, Tara. What about you? Listen, this is first of all hilarious, and um, yeah, no, absolutely not. I, I and this is why I like messing with it. I think it's way worse, I think it's way worse for men than it will be for us, but no, you're gonna say all that stuff for them, like because it's hilarious messing with y'all, specifically tone, but no, no. All right, Pam. 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 that ain't cool. With my blood pressure. Do I think the man gay? <laughs> no, would you date someone like that? Would I date somebody with two parts? If I was bisexual, I would because as a girl, that's probably fire, but I'm not bisexual. <laughs> what because if you bisexual, you're getting both things, they don't have to have no toy and stuff. Man, no, that's weird. Can they do it to themselves with that? Could they put their wee wee in their vagina? No, it's not that long. Oh. Why are you even thinking like that? <laughs> Because Tara is very different. Listen, there are yeah, asexual people. We, we was there the are asexual the animals that can get impregnate themselves. I was just wondering if that's the part of the process. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm pretty sure an <laughs> asexual <laughs> animal ain't got no damn penis and cooch. Well, how they, well, I don't know. I've never looked at one. The fuck? That's got to be some internal organ shit they can do. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Ricky. This shit crazy. <laughs> crazy as a motherfucker, bro. This is a straight topic, bro. <laughs> topic, bro. I mean, this is a fucking Yo, thing. Man. Like, this is a reality. I am cracking up. Like, this is a reality in somebody's life, bro. Yeah, somebody was born like that, so they need right. love too. Don't be mean. They, 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 they need hey, to look, get in the community together and then be together. I think it said it's somebody for everybody, not just me. I think it said it's somebody for everybody. Ricky. Oh, my God. Hold on. Yeah, she told us to hold on. All right, hold on. <laughs> and it's her turn. <laughs> yeah, hold on. She's kind of walking in the house. <laughs> hold on, niggas. The audacity. <laughs> yeah, niggas, hold on. It's Stacy. It's Stacy. <laughs> And we literally have birds chirping. Well, then <laughs> I'll answer the questions that they come. Hell <laughs> no, this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm here. Right. Look, I'm trying to bring up this. There thing. she go. There she go. All right, go ahead, Ricky. Um, 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 um hold on. You know what? No, I just... Hold on. We could have skipped okay. that. Was... Right, it's off. I just walked in the house. It's I just walked back out. Look. Um, Can you date a homophobic? Okay, I 
But I I couldn't date a person that had a coochie and a dick because I only like dick, so I couldn't date a person with a coochie and a dick. Um, do I think the dude gay? He gay a little bit. I don't know. That's that's my he gay a little bit. <laughs> I, I, he gay. A little bit gay all the way. There. Okay, this is my opinion. He's gay a little bit. Uh, Right. That he Ain't said no she was born yet. with it. He didn't Ain't say no he, she gay. still had. Fuck <laughs> shut up. He said she was born with it, and not that not. she still. <laughs> it's a possibility <laughs> has breaking up like I told you. The question that medical professionals ask. <laughs> You can Somebody get your wee wee removed if you got if, if you're a medical professionals ex, like if you want to go ahead and get rid of one or the other. Something else. Well, I think he said I don't know. He said I don't want nothing that used to be. I don't want nothing that used to be something else. <laughs> well, technically, you had it too. I'm just saying, you it just fell out. <laughs> so, look, if she just had an extra large clitoris, would that be like you know you'd be like uh oh the that's little all clitoris it is. Is. That's that's different. That's a where woman it is. is a it's woman just... and a man is a man. So a hermaphrodite, that part want, is... And, and a hermaphrodite is a hermaphrodite. I'm not, I'm not going to go... What is a hermaphrodite? I don't even know what the hell that is. Y'all just don't put her name a pop right there. Hey, look, hey. Oh, uh, uh, let's let it go. Flanagan said next topic. <laughs> Ms. B. T. said a man just married a woman like that with two heads and no That's not the same thing. They didn't have a Christianity. They just had a girl with two heads. Listen, that is a conjoined twin. It's two they different people. <laughs> they just keep talking about she got two heads. Why That's two different people. It's, it's two different, people. different it's girls. It's one oh person. Hey. That is not one person. They out. The girl with two heads. <laughs> that is so <laughs> reckless. No, the other sister talking about some. I just try to clear my thoughts and don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. No, and, but wait a minute. The other one got a husband too. The other one got a husband too. So both of their husbands be scoring both of them. Listen, they no, don't have no, no two hearts and two and four legs. They got one coochie, one. Ain't, ain't no sound that said. Why they do would, got two hearts. He said, "Why would it bother Ricky that there's also a vagina? It's just gonna be there, not bothering anybody." Just because. <laughs> uh, this is why it would bother me because I don't like vaginas. Right? <laughs> so, like, I it's not my preference. I don't want to play with a vagina if I'm getting dick. <laughs> that's not mine. Like that's why it would bother me. I don't there? care if it's just sitting there. That's just like you saying it's just a dick sitting there and it's still a coochie there. Like what the fuck? And I feel like the coochie would be touching your coochie while the penis was penetrating you, or coochie would be touching your booty hole, or something weird would be happening. Why would the coochie be all the way back there? Like I'm not and understanding. Why, why <laughs> <you> <laughs> Sarah, childish. I, know, Sarah, happen, I don't man. understand what position you in, but that motherfucker might be on like your leg, but no. Oh <laughs> God. Okay, yeah. Next time, right, guys. Hey, y'all got some fucked up minds. It said, "Look, next time, raise your dick." It say a man takes you on a date. He has one hundred and fifty dollars. You have five hundred. The bill is one forty seven ninety seven. Who's to pay? Can I? I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead tab. Was say, you know? <laughs> because the question is very yeah. specific. A man takes you on a date. The man that took me on a date. You didn't say my nigga. A man. The man that took me on a date. <laughs> I don't even need to know what's in his pocket. He don't need to know what's because it's a man. He didn't say my man. A man. That man is paying for the date. You don't take all his buddy. You know how when we were in school and they had the word um puzzle, you had to figure it out. They threw something in there to kind of make you get a bad grade to threw you off. It had nothing to do with the rest of the problem. The five hundred dollars in my pocket has nothing to do with this math puzzle. It's him. He asked me him. The a man, not mine. Let's be clear. If it was mad, it may be different. But amen, him. All right. That's good out. Good out. Let me read this last comment. Uh, those that out. said, with the guys on the panel, they two girls sharing the same body then. No. That's <laughs> 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 like, like, regular human beings interacting in regular human beings shit. <laughs> then Miss B, you dig, say him. What about you, Tara? <laughs> Um, I, Lord, I hate these questions. Um, it, it's different for me. Do I know this? Like, are we sitting there? Oh, I'm opening up my purse and my yes, 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 honey. He's yes, like, I got yes, 150. Yes, you know this. Um, I'll ask. I'll say, do you want me to get this? Do you want to go Dutch or do you want to pay for it? I'm going to give you What if he got pride and you know he like really, he just saying yes because he don't want to look crazy, but you know he needs the money. 
What the fuck? Why is it when was that part of the question? What, why are you trying to like listen, pull listen, my answer? Listen, I'm just saying. So. <laughs> well, if, if you got pride, I'm definitely making you pay because I need you to get over that. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I don't do that. Yeah. I don't need that. Pride comes before the fall, so stop doing that. Fuck that shit. If you want me to pay for it, just say something. You can ask me, hey, baby, I ain't got it at this moment. You know, what have you. And this, I'm with Tabitha, though. It's only my man. If I'm on a date with this person, I think, sir, that you should make better decisions than to bring me someplace where we could have racked up a $150 bill and that was all you had. Hey, so it's a lesson learned. Hey, no style. Oh. That said, the waiter is going to be pissed getting a $2 tip. <laughs> <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> and may maybe I'll pay for the tip. Go ahead, Ricky. Um, the old Ricky would have definitely just paid, but the new Ricky, if he asked me out, then he definitely paying. I don't care if you only got 150, you shouldn't have took me somewhere where you only had 150. We should have went somewhere you could afford, like, date within your means. Like, stop trying to outdo shit. You ain't got to try to take me to Ruth Chris when all you can afford is fucking Burger King. Like, that's stupid. I don't care because of how much money I got. Yes, I can cover the bill, but. The thing is, whoever's asking the other person out on a date, I don't care if it's a woman, I don't care if it's a man, whoever is the actor should be the one paying because you wanted to go here. And if you only got $150, you shouldn't be trying to go on a date. You need to be trying to figure out how you could turn that $150 into $500. Oh, shit. I'm just, you, you, need to, you need to make some better decisions. Um, you're not financially stable to be dating at this point. So you, you need to go, you need to go back to the drawing board. CeeLo says, Ricky, let me take you to BK. Um, as long as you get me an original chicken sandwich, add cheese and tomatoes with light mayo, a Sprite with no ice, and some onion rings, and I'm cool. And a Hershey's Sunday <laughs> pie. Did Damn. you see who sent that? Be killing me. <laughs> I know, I know who sent face. it, and I also know I'm not going. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, if you're going to go, that's my order. That'll be killing me with the big spray. All right. Some Louis. people can breathe over my food, child. <laughs> If they was my DoorDash, I'm reporting it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it no more. <laughs> what about you? I don't know. I, listen, no listen, listen. Old Ricky would have been like that. New Ricky is not like that anymore. New Ricky is but way calmer than you guys have not noticed. All right, Louie. You, she forgot that some botanicals. What's up? What's, 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 that's a woman question, right? Nah. Oh shit! It could be whatever. What, what should you should you pay? Uh, you, it's like, do you want her to pay? It's, it's saying who should pay. Yeah, it's it's who should pay. Yeah, yeah. You are the woman. Nah, I mean, I really don't. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like I feel like I feel like they feel like if you ask if you ask a person on a date, then you should be the one to pay. You know what I'm saying? So whether man or woman, whoever asks should be, you know what I'm saying? And then you got to consider what you can afford in that, in that invitation. If you, if you know you can't afford that, then don't be perpetrating like you can do that. And then you knowing that that's all you got, just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think if you try to set the bar so high anyway, like that out the gate, then now you're trying to, uh, you, you setting a standard. So, now you, she might expect that that would come along with going on a date with you, so you might not want to set it so high like that. You know what I'm saying? Out the gate, you know. Um, and like it, it most definitely make a difference if it's your woman versus somebody that you really don't know like that. Because if it's your, if, if it's your woman, then y'all already know each other's situation, and she gonna she gonna either demonstrate it because she know the situation, or you gonna demonstrate it. But it don't even matter. Who doing it? Cause y'all going out to eat together. So I feel. All right, Ted says you can actually have a bar with one fifty. Lol. And, and, and have some change. Lilo said, "Tab, better stop acting like I'm not a big deal out here." You are a very big deal. It's just not a positive big deal. <laughs> <That's how laughs> that was, I, that was a whole palm tree of shade. No stat, no uh, stat I don't for think well. he was he that was as direct as you could get. He has two dollars <laughs> left over. Would the ladies judge him for leaving such a small tip? Is I it? would pay for the tip because I don't, I don't play like you know doing that with with service workers at all. So I would definitely pay for the tip. Tab, would you pay for the tip? I shouldn't even. 
I'm not even seeing this bill or what he's tipping. It's not in front of my business. <laughs> how do I even know he tipped them two dollars? If he said, "Why? Why are you even telling me this?" If he told me this, I'm paying him. He'd never get another date again. Mm -hmm. Tone because the better date is the one that's cheap and creative, any freaking way. I hate when people try to just say it's like the worst days I've ever had. When somebody took me somewhere expensive, we just sat there and looked at each other, and was boring as hell, and I wanted to get on my phone and take pictures of my plate. So let's be creative. Let's do something. It don't cost much. <laughs> Bone. <laughs> I agree. We could have went extra one for less than that. <laughs> we could have uh, landed the white people in the park. Um, I mean, I don't think I would ever be in this situation. Oh, right. I don't think I would be ever because, huh? like, my mind works. I'm not going nowhere where I got to spend a hundred anything and I only got a hundred and fifty dollars. That's crazy. I don't need to go buckle for one pair of jeans if you got about seven hundred dollars in your pocket, right? Because you only going for buckle for jeans if you only got about seven hundred in your pocket. Because they no, only gonna show you the pair that's two fifty. <laughs> no, I gotta have I gotta have more than that in my account before I just go. I thought I had the money. story right. Damn, I was trying to pay attention. It definitely wasn't with that. <laughs> you <You're> true, <laughs> but no, nah. um. Nah, I mean, not even, not just not even that. Like, I just, it's just about, nah. But in this type of situation, if she, if we know how much money we got, in the country, that's like gay. Because ain't no random people knowing what's in each other's pocket. So in right. this situation, in this situation, I would, I'm not the motherfucker taking the person out anyway. My woman took me in the, in the beginning. Because got, she got $500 and feel like she going to take me out. What the fuck? That ain't even the question. I think this thing play out before. Hey. <laughs> Heck that. Nah. CeeLo says, all I know is if the beer 150, some legs getting cracked that night. For 150, bro? Man, I want to throw up. No, Stat said, what if you finished eating dinner and the guy looked at you and said, you got this right? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Well, okay, that's nah, easy, nah. too. <laughs> Like, sure, I'd have definitely, if he looked at me and said, you got this right, I'm like, so you don't? And I'd have definitely paid for it, got up, left, and that would have been the end of it. No, nah, I'm, I'm going to be like, excuse me, can we get two checks, please? You, you got two and I got me. I'm not, even, listen, I'm not even finna do, I'm not finna do none of that. I'm just going to pay for it and leave, and that's going to be the end of it. better than me. Hell no. Nah. He's probably playing that. He a scammer doing that. Right. 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go back and forth with no dude. I'm not gonna cause no scene in no restaurant. I'm not gonna be. Can you separate? I'm not doing that. Right. I'm just gonna pay for it. That's right, Rick. All right, Stacy. I right. am. Hey, she say she say he is scammer. <laughs> I'm just out. I ain't paying first. Yeah, nah. She say he is scammer. <laughs> you can spend the bills on the little kiosk thing. Fuck all of that. Hey, 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 niggas scamming on food. I <laughs> <laughs> they say girls do so. Say All women the time. Oh, like oh, well, hey, well, the one thing you don't want to be known as is the food dude with a bitch. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stacy. She's not here with us for real. Uh, I think she fixing something. Uh, CeeLo said, I respect Ricky. And no style said, what if? It was a 30 something Denzel Washington. And then what, Ted said, You leave and I get a free meal deal. That's why I said, I'm not doing that, Ted. <laughs> no. I'm just leaving. Ricky, <laughs> Ricky said, I'm going to pay. All right. This right here, I think this topic was from Ted. That's why you said you respect the low that C Low do. You respect because she said she going to pay. Boy, that's some <laughs> sucker shit. All right, uh, Tad, I think you said this. She said, friends, friends with benefits, what are some of the rules? Ain't no rules. <laughs> Whatever you make them. <laughs> Tab, go ahead, Tab. <laughs> Look at Tab. What are some of the rules? Don't let them be crazy. <laughs> That's a rule? You can't be crazy? No, when, they get, when they start to show signs of crazy. <laughs> now look, when, what? Start, when we start being these friends with benefits, you can't be crazy. You can't be crazy, man. I'm just shot at the You're a crazy, you're a crazy hey, person. Hey, hey, yeah, whoa, whoa. You're crazy. 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 You're crazy.
and then shoot at you. <laughs> I'm dramatized. Oh shit! I gonna tell you it. Huh? Inside joke. Fuck uh, up. CeeLo said Tab probably have too many rules. No <laughs> style said rule one: don't fall in love. All right. Uh, Ooh, that, that, that's <laughs> all right, Tara. I mean, it's, it depends on the person. You got to set the rules up before you do the thing. So whatever you want with that person. If you want them to never just show up at your house unannounced or never spend the night. Um, I like the one about never fall in love or whatever you want. This is going to differ between every person that does this. Ted says, uh, hey, hey, Terry, you see in real work. life, it never works. Somebody gonna start to get attached. And then right. Sko says, you don't. So she's like, you don't. Hey, Sko! You don't me. You don't, don't know me. You. I don't know you unless we unless all we public together. <laughs> um, That's a good one. Flanagan says, ain't but one rule. You are not my girl. <laughs> Ted says, I mean, Terra, we already friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh All right, Louie. What it do? What it do? I thought the aliens got you again. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> so big. Nah, I was eating. I was eating some. Uh, I feel like it ain't. You just. I don't think that's something that you just plan out like that. I think whenever you're trying to plan some shit like that, it's going That's a disaster right there. I think that's just something that <laughs> had to just happen, and it just was. It just happened like that, and then that's when you be like, okay, that's my friend, and we we had a benefit. But <laughs> if you, if you, if you, if you so it's not right. No, I'm saying, you know I'm saying? like if you try to play hey, it out, y'all be crazy. <laughs> because once you start playing it out, it's like a contract. So a, a relationship is a type of contract. So mm. once you get to saying, oh, well, this, 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 y'all just in a relationship. Y'all trying to make it seem like y'all in a friendship, but y'all just in the structure, the whole situation. So that's that's bull crap. I feel like <laughs> if you say a friend with a benefit, it had to be like, we've been friends all this time and we wasn't, we wasn't jamming like that. And then all of a sudden, we probably that probably happened for whatever the reason was, but we <laughs> friends, we don't this ain't something that we doing like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause once you start doing it all the time, y'all in the relate, y'all doing something different than just that friendship. Um, negative, it's just it. Um, some of the benefits of that and some of the rules are you are I only hitting you up for sexual purposes. Um, that's it. <laughs> you like a fuck buddy. That's all a friend with benefit is, is your fuck buddy. I'm, I'm only I'm only there calling you, you when I want some dick. Now there, there you go. Something different. That's something different. See what you just said is a fuck buddy. A fuck buddy is something different than a friend with a benefit. A friend with a benefit, man. You. I mean, you can try to dress it up however you want y'all. to. Nah, because because see, I've been the type of dude where I got I got homegirls that I never had sex with, and I had a situation where I had a I had a situation where I did have one of those type of things like that. So I know what it is to be a friend to a. a you know woman how you just said two different things. To, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, and not be trying to fuck her. It's different because a lot of niggas be trying to be friends. Just to that's just your y'all friend, friend right? right? If if it's a female but, but and y'all ain't together, on, you on. never looked at him like that. That's just, just your friend. You but if you didn't crack them, now be you don't want to you, you, you won't hear me. That's what y'all do. I'm trying to tell y'all what it is. I'm trying to get y'all some game. I that niggas, shit, Louis. Now, niggas, how niggas look at y'all? Y'all, 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 y'all ain't shit. trying to hear it. Listen, Who is y'all? Man, don't want to accept hey. it. Go ahead, I'm Louis. Break it down. Women. Go ahead, I'm break it down, Louis. Listen, a friend with a benefit is a friend that you had, and y'all just had a platonic friendship. It ain't never been nothing that you had been trying to fuck on. Have a like, have y'all just been like cool. It ain't nothing like that. And then some shit happened to where y'all probably y'all probably had an energy, but that shit y'all shared, but y'all never kind of like this. You never crossed the boundary. She never crossed the boundary. And then something happened one day where the boundary was crossed, and then it, it, it happened like that. You know what I'm saying? But as far as a fuck buddy, now once now once so now your friend is just your fuck buddy now. 
Once we cross past that friendship, right? He's saying they still, once we we still past, friends, they don't go away. Once we cross past that friendship and start having sex occasionally, now we became fuck buddies. We're no longer friends with benefits because a friend with a benefit, we would have. Okay, so basically you're like, saying a friend with a benefit is somebody you only slept with once, even though that we was your friend. felt uncomfortable. Even if I would have had sex with her, we would have felt uncomfortable having sex because that would have changed the structure of our friendship and what we've been knowing each other to do for all of these years. It wouldn't have just been a thing that now we just popping into fucking all of a sudden. That's something different. That's we, You done became a fuck buddy. That means that now you somebody that I'm so going to be Back to what I originally with. said. Hell I, yeah, let me read this comment. It's gonna a be friend? Said, no mingling with family or friends. Uh, no style said, Is Tara gonna give Tez a shot? Hmm. <laughs> See, oh, said, all God. you have to do is watch set it off, and Nate can clear all of this up. Uh, no style said, Let's combine it all. What if you're uh-uh, go somewhere with one of the heads between <laughs> the girl that go off to dinner after who pays the bill? We're not, we're not doing that. And no, says, says he drunk or nah, friends with benefits and fuck buddies are the same thing. See, exactly. most people think they, they are, but uh, T- Tara is in a relationship and she, Tara, she Tara's in love, so no, Tez is just fucking with me. Don't take him seriously. Um, Louie, to you, just this is strictly to you. You're saying a friend would have benefited somebody you slept with once and it was awkward that y'all slept together, but somehow y'all got to the point where y'all was kissing and humping on each other. And then y'all go back to being friends, <laughs> even though y'all can never awkwardly get that thought out of y'all head. So then y'all gonna try it again just to see if it was really just that one time thing. But a fuck buddy is somebody where y'all just constantly keep fucking, even though y'all was friends. I'm just trying to clarify and simplify what you were saying, because that's what I gathered out of what you were saying. Because you saying this is how men look at it, and I'm just trying to understand if that was what you were saying. So that's just a simple yay or nay. And then before you answer, uh, Scotty said buddy equals friend and fuck equals benefits. Y'all yeah, want to sound smart and shit, right? <laughs> but I'm a no, I'm just asking. I'm, I'm trying to simplify it. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You I have missed this so, so much. Yeah, hello again. Can you give me a yes or no before you go into detail? Hey, though? listen, listen, listen. I'm going to sum it up. I told me I'll be taking too much time, so I'm going to sum it up for y'all, right? So Men that's lie. Okay. Women lie. Energy don't, right? And if, if once you cross that threshold and you fuck, right, you bite into that apple, it's going to your energy going to either project itself because it's gonna feel like you violated your body rights by feeling like that person. Cause I have, I got, I got some homegirls. I swear to God, I got some homegirls that are, that fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? And I never had sex with them. And and I had homegirl wide and I did that, and it changed the whole dynamic. We don't even have a relationship, and and we don't even communicate to this day because when we cross that threshold, you feel what I'm saying? So I can speak from so basically I what I see both experiences. Man, look, look. Can we please move on? Outside this is never of, going to come together. That person outside their first time, that's fuck buddies, man. That's something different. Hey, look. You, you can, so that's uh, what I said. The exact same thing I just said. Like, and then CeeLo said, no man look at friends with benefits equals fucking. Uh, he said, Louie, what are you talking about, my G? And Sconey said, where y'all get him from? <laughs> All right, yeah, Lacey. First Who, uh, off, y'all gonna get up off of Louie because y'all are speaking facts to y'all, so don't do hey. Louie. I'm gonna Go support ahead, my fellow what? cast member. Talk that shit right I probably, oh I probably, my I probably god, got, I know some homegirls that probably run circles around them. Niggas. Them niggas ain't talking about nothing, man. They probably ain't even got no females. Why they talk? <laughs> you know what, that is. what you said, that part. Go ahead, Tom. <laughs> hey, that was a long winning session for both of you, motherfuckers. Good, and, man. And, 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 and if you fucking, you fucking. If you ain't, you ain't. Hey, keep it Louis, simple, I'm man. Me, I'm me. That shit crazy. That's all it is. Um, look. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, some of the rules of friends with benefits? What are the rules of friends with benefits? As Scott says, I am a female. Laugh about it. Hey, so look. Hey, you down. Down. 
But are you? Because you might have one of them things down there. What oh, my God. I don't know. What are y'all talking about? Yeah, what oh, my God. What are y'all talking about? What the fuck is going on? I don't know. Go ahead, Tom. Oh, friends, benefits. Um, yeah. The feeling shit, What's you can't get in your feelings. You can't get in your feelings with shit. You got to Shit is what it is. It's what it is and what it's going to be. Like, you know. But, you know, I don't know. I ain't never played that situation. All right. Did everybody go? I think everybody. Uh, Stacy, she back. <laughs> what, what is it? What are, some of the what are some of the rules with friends with benefits? Uh, first of all, I'm going to classify you as uh, Sarah or somebody on my <laughs> phone. Um. And so we will meet up when I want to meet up, first of all, second of all. Um, and then it's just going to be that. Don't be trying to um, get no feelings or catch no feelings or none of that because you know what it is. <laughs> and it's on my terms. <laughs> it's going to be on my terms, so that part. Um, uh, yeah. And, I mean, you can have you can have your boo. I can have my All right, all right, Scotty and Richie, Scotty and Richie for the go at it. Scotty says, I don't know, you tell me if I got one of them things down. You hear? You look real familiar with them type things. You do know I'm a nurse and, like, I see this shit on the regular, so, yeah, I would look real familiar with it. When the last time you been to the doctor, though? Oh, my God. Why? What, what, is, what is this? In the <laughs> oh uh, well, who is back? What is happening? That was Stacy. I think it was Raina. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I think it's raining. Already, what the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> I need, I just need Lacey to keep coming with the question, so we can just not go there. <laughs> we can't hear you, Stacey. Your background is Kurt killing. My window rolled down. Yeah. We can't hear you. Can you do? Can it? you mute her? Nochi. I think Nucci gone. All right, I go to the next step. What keep we, we can't hear you every time you keep taking your stuff off mute. It sounds like a lot of wind. Oh, what, was, what was the topic? What are the uh, rules to friends with rules benefits? Of, yeah. Uh, simple. Stay in your motherfucking lane. You ain't got to think about that shit. There ain't nothing to think about. Stay in your lane. I don't know how to go. I don't know how to go. Stay in your lane. 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 Stay in Doing. I'm sorry, uh, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all was on the speaker uh, on in the other car. I'm, um, I got both of my cars right here. I'm sorry, but I'm done. Go ahead. Uh, next topic. It says ex porn star Jasmine Cashmere is now married after being in a hundred movies and twenty five group films. She claims to have accept, accepted the Lord and is a new person. Could you marry an adult film star? Pause. It's Louis. Boy, you froze. Your face was hilarious. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. Take that. That's a lot of miles, man. <laughs> hey, hey, that's crazy. Um, I don't think mentally I could deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> I said I don't think mentally. I <laughs> like, yeah. She, you look, she, just, she has found the Lord's home. I don't give a fuck what you found. <laughs> Hey, oh, and I, hey, hey, and, and this is a beautiful thing that you find God and you're ready to move. You hear me? You just find him a little bit too late to be in my life. <laughs> right. But, but that I mean, part. I that mean, part. where I'm you at? Say sure. that part. I'm pretty sure her husband is very happy. You get what I'm saying? And he's enjoying <laughs> that shit. <laughs> well, for me personally, as far as the me, nah. Yeah. Hey, but look, honestly, 
Some of us wife and porno stars that don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, so she and on the other hand, at least I know what you've been through. <laughs> <laughs> Real nigga for who, bro? Cause you don't know what the fuck these other bitches. They they you out, we out here buying lemons, people. <laughs> All right, Louie. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm gonna have to opt out on that one. Um, I'm just looking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, need a so, like, the Lord. Mean, What's wrong I with you? <laughs> it? it ain't even about all. It's just it's just the fact of me knowing like. My 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 person is been with knowingly like I, they just pull it up like no nah, I, I I couldn't rock like that like that's too much <laughs> exposure for me nah, like complete strangers and then it's like and then you gotta say like I mean even on a deeper level even on a deeper level it's like all them exchanging them them spirits like that like you know what I'm saying like I'm I'm like on that type of time so it's like it's even deeper than that like I, I gotta like yeah it's just that's just different you know what I'm saying and everywhere you going with her somebody can say oh I didn't see her whole coochie booty hole like I mean it's just like complete no branded, bro. Yeah. Complete like, fuck like, and you yeah, gotta make, you gotta make it go on porn and watch your shit like, you gotta accept it you have to accept it if she a porn star you have to accept that people gonna be at, at she's going to get different type of attention, a different type of energy. It's going to be a different type of vibe that's coming your way. It ain't just going to be like she was in the cut doing it and don't and she was sneaky doing it and you, nobody really knew. It. Yeah, it that girl. Like, and, and yeah, everybody probably, know who that is. Like, yeah, she you know probably. What I'm saying? You got if that's who you choose to marry, you got to You can't be mad at her now when everybody pulling up on her and talking and taking pictures and all. Ooh. You can't. You can't get mad at that. That's who you choose nope. to be with. This nigga Ted said, oh shit, I see Stacy Sugar Daddy. <laughs> this nigga stupid. Uh Skull said hood hoes get married every day. And they wasn't even getting half the time. And then C Love said she can remain as my friends with benefits. She can't right. be with me, bro. That's Nucci. Cool. I don't think Nucci there. All right. Oh, there you go. All right, what is it again? Who was that to just walk past? That's <laughs> That's Ludo ass. Tell Ludo I said what's up. Now I said uh ex porn. Yeah, ex porn star Jasmine. She basically uh she got married after being in a hundred movies and twenty five group films. She found guys. Jesus. She found Jesus <laughs> now. Could you date a porn star? Well, could you marry a porn star? I, I thought. Uh, look. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm secure in myself, but I don't know if I'm that motherfucker secure to have to deal with all that shit. You hear me? That's 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 gonna be a lot to try to motherfucker push through. You feel me? Like with motherfuckers and shit, just nigga, you at snooks and shit, and the motherfucker run up on you like nigga. Like, bro, cause. I clapped that one day at the paint slip nigga on the motherfucking orgy thing. I'm like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hey, so, we just don't know. This is crazy, bro. Man, Tom did disappear eight times. He a blob on the left side, a blob on the what the fuck is happening? You don't need to see me. Nigga. Crazy. You hear me? What right. it be still, nigga? Tab. Mm-hmm. Could you date a man if he was dead all that was in all the movies and what, could you marry a porn star? Is he tested clean? I guess. Hell yeah. I'm movie, a woman in her 40s with what no uterus. Hell yeah. It sounds like I'm about to have a wonderful rest of my life. It's different from women though, ain't it? Yes. No. No. <laughs> no. Miles on it anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> no. Who said, who is, Long so it's not different for me in them, in them streets. Heck nah. Stacy. Hey, we tired now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but is he though? Of course I can. <laughs> can y'all hear me? I can hear you again. Okay, yeah. Of course I would date uh, or marry someone like that because I want to have fun. And he would know all the right moves and all that. Let's get it. Let's have some fun. Yeah, that's, that's a different question for women, bro. Hey, look. 
Thank you. I agree. said what Tab just say about her being 40. And Wayne, I said a woman in her 40s. That's what I said. What? What? Why? What? What hips? <laughs> Wait, what Wayne say? Wayne said, yes, I, I, I can. I will marry Jada Fur and Capri Style right now. Dang, okay, bro. Group singers, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. I, to me, and I understand where the ladies are coming from. And Tabitha said the major thing, the test plan. I feel the same way that a dude would. I, I mean, it's not about the miles, it's just that, like, what if every female friend I got then like play with herself to watch it? I just, it's too Good. much for me. I like voyeurism. Nope, because nope, I don't want it. That's too yeah, much. Yeah, I, I yeah. could I could not even yeah, date yeah. a porn star or sleep with one. I'm not interested in that. Uh Ted says, hell nah, then she gonna expect me to fuck two <laughs> hours straight. 30 minutes more. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ricky? Hey, they be on a lot of drugs. Um, um no, because like when we get older, like I know he's gonna have like severe ED, like because I just know it. Um, and no, nah, that I'm, I'm okay. Oh, wow, I'm, <laughs> y'all don't I'm, know I'm nothing. Good. But y'all gonna have some fun like, for about a week. What? Wait I'm, a minute, I'm about that. Uh, hold on. He still got the same energy. Steroids, steroids, and all types. Listen, of first off, I still want my uterus because I still oh have it, God. and I'm good. Yeah, yeah, that's for you. But for me, yeah, no. Um, I still want it. And like, if you didn't bend these bitches sideways, left ways, pick them up, did motherfucking Jody Mama scene cap? No, I no, no, no. It's fun to watch. I don't want it because. Now everybody know that you trying to drop our kid off at school and they're like, Yeah, I see your dad. No, no. Exactly. Everybody knows that we didn't got our kids and got put out of school because the PTO board didn't send you shit. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Lacey, go help uh, uh, Why he says no. women in their forties are horny like rabbits. <laughs> That has what nothing to do with the fact that as horny as women be, I still what is happening? <laughs> Why is she changing her tire? Why is y'all helping her? Damn. I thought I knew she was where she was. Why are they not helping her? <laughs> yeah, Why? Right. This man sucks. I, I'm just helping. When I got help, that's what I do. I'm a mother. Listen, I can do whatever. That part. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, I, I says you're not having no more kids, Ricky. That that let their uterus go. I don't give a fuck oh if I'm God. having kids or not. I, I still want thing. my parts. No, listen, I'm not gonna be walking around like I can't walk. I still got a life. Like is it, are we talking a Westy pipe? Did, did you just see the girl? Did you just see the girl? Hold on. Did you just see the girl who ended up in the hospital because the dude rearranged her shit? See? He was a college student, and the little light skinned nigga with all the tattoos rearranged the, her shit, and she been in the hospital having to get her shit fixed. No, I don't want Yikes, that, bro. That's that's I, so I concerning. That. I don't want that. And most of the time, if he was in that many films and group films, first off, nigga, your dicks was too close. No. Second off, why? Do you think I want it? No. I seen the documentary of all them people who had that shit. No. No, I sent the documentary. No. Okay. It, no. Let's go. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. Uh, are there double standards in domestic violence when it comes to? Domestic? Yes, we all unanimously agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because bitches be beating me. <laughs> Next. Next. Oh, topic. Get a thing. <laughs> go ahead, uh, Louis. <laughs> It's all the same answer. We all know that, though. That ain't even the question. Hey, of course. Hey. But I we all unanimously agree. Yes. So let's go to the next topic. Go ahead. Tell what you was going to say, Tyler. If a woman put herself in a man's position, she's still a woman. That happened to her and on her. No, so there's still a woman. Um, that wasn't the question. Man, the question was just no a more. double standard in Women domestic violence. Like killed out here, boy. Shit. Yeah. Man, we're not, we're not we're taking no one for granted. Innocent, innocent women all the year, but 
but like, no one to put themselves in position. Like these girls, I heard tough as fuck right now. They they throw bangers harder than niggas though. Like they're that. They, like, they outside. Man. So is it a double standard? Definitely. Okay. All right. So we all unanimously agree. Do anybody else want to answer this before I go to the next topic? This All right. This nigga says about some soldier old Facebook while he was doing AA work. Who raised this nigga up in this mud? He said triple A work, not AA. Yeah. Um, why he said no one on this panel kind of having no more kids. Let them uterus go. You might breathe better if your spleen is in a new space. Lord Jesus. That's because he do not know what triple A is. All right, then get off the screen. I don't have disrespect the snow jump in this. <laughs> I don't got a spleen either. All right, uh, why he says, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's double standards. You push a girl in the eyes. Of the law, you beat her ass. A girl hits you with the bat, and it's the equivalent of you getting scratched by a toddler in the court of public. <laughs> <laughs> that is that's, right. That's a bit outrageous. That is right. Way talk that shit. All right, let me get to our video. First video. When a man wants to get married, he's only getting married truly for one reason. The men can work and provide for themselves. He does not necessarily need you to cook, clean, and have sex because he can get sex for multiple women. A lot of them can cook and clean. Their mother taught them or they can pay someone to get it. The culture is telling them these women do not get married. So why would a man go past what the culture is telling him and choose to have a wife? It's for one real simple reason. Because with a wife, you can now have love, you can now have nurturing, you can have support, you can have affection. This is what he can't get from a roommate. So if that is not what you're leading with, your relationships with men is love, support, nurturing, and respect. This is why your husband is now pulling away because in the beginning you gave him those things. But as you got into the relationship, you got bitter, you got resentful, you start seeing his flaws start counting that against him you start measuring him against other men and now you're pulling back on the love the affection and the nurturing she said one reason then named seven did i, did I did miss the one said, reason yeah. or go ahead tara whatever your thoughts is I, I just i think she set this up incorrectly because she gave a bunch of good answers but that's not one thing and um I, I think so and i'm glad she said this because you know remember we were going back and forth having that that question about you know, what What do you bring to the table? This is what they Kevin Samuels, whatever weak ass bullshit dudes was on. And they were like, well, I can cook. I can clean. Well, I can pay the maid. I can do this. Like I, can, uh, <laughs> I can cook. I can clean. I can do all of this. So what else do you bring? And the question is, what do you need me to bring? If you're now saying those things that women traditionally did don't matter to you anymore, then you tell me what it is you need. Because I'm bringing me as a woman. My knowledge, my experience, the fact, my nurturing, my love, and all of that. But sometimes I think men are so abrasive at this day and age. We feel like if we say something like that, they like, oh, you know, who needs love? Or it, we just don't know what to say to you guys anymore. So I would hope that what she said is true. But I think this question is more for the fellas. Is what she said true? All right. Uh, Louis. <laughs> I feel like. Uh, uh oh, he can grab the phone. Yeah, yeah. close. Oh, shit. I feel like, I feel like that's one of the that's one of the aspects of what she was saying. Um, as far as you know, but I I say it's the things it's peace, love, and support. I feel like your woman should bring a peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? With whatever, however she moving out here, that you ain't gotta be in your mind about what your other half doing. Of course, love. You already know the love gotta come effortlessly. You know what I'm saying? And so, if you ain't got somebody that got your back, then you, what do you got? You ain't got nothing. So, if 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 I got the front door back, that way we we holding it down. That was that. All right, new J. Um. It's some truth to what she's saying, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, but I mean, that's what our people do. 
you know. Uh, I think it ain't just, you know, on on, on our end or whatever and shit like that. That's what everybody uh, could grow up, learn some shit about yourself and your relationship. Alright, tap. Tabitha. <laughs> Who raised this nigga? Ricky. Um, it depends on the man. Every man ain't looking for the same thing. Um I mean men were all they wanted was sex and companionship and all of this shit from a woman, and that's they were content and happy with that. I've also met men that require peace and understanding and comfort and you to be a therapist and they mama and they soul supporter. I, it just depends on the man. Um, I do think that she was saying the traditional sense of what society thinks of people and men and why they are not leaning towards going, jumping in and getting married. I understand that aspect of it. Um, I also understand that um, a man that wants to marry you will marry you. Unless they still married. Um, <laughs> had to throw that in there. Uh, yes, baby. You're not getting no booby. Bye. Okay, I'll get you something to drink. But you're not getting no booby. Um, sit down. I'm going to get you something to drink. I, um, sit down. I'm going to get you something to drink. I wholeheartedly, I just had this conversation with my friend. And uh, this. Like spot on of what he need. You drunk all my juice up? No, it's mine. No, that's mine. My shit. Hello. Sure. Yeah. So, um, it just depends on the man in real life on what he needs, because the what he needs is gonna be different. Nucci might say that he just need a chick that know how to roll up. Lacey might need a chick that know how to write a damn screenplay. It just depends. Well, he got th he got that and much more. So that part. Yeah, kudos to that. That was just an example. Um, it wasn't a throw shade or anything, but um, yeah, he came out. <laughs> I, I, I didn't take it as such. I just I made my statement. That part. I know, but then your family might think that it was shade. So I just wanted to clarify for you know the people that don't be understanding. Kudos. All right, I guess she's there. Uh, Wayne said she definitely said hella reasons. Uh, he said, Wayne said, I need you to bring some nasty hair, some good hygiene, a gallon apiece, two cups of support, the willingness to have kids if that's what we own, and a few teaspoons of shut the fuck up sometimes. We would get along just fine. And CeeLo says, respect is the number one thing a man wants from a woman. All right, Tom Bone. Um, hey, I like everything that you said. I think it's pretty dope. I think um, anybody that ever fuck with them, at some point they could look at themselves in the mirror and know at some point they did some shit to me that they shouldn't have fucking did and they got what the fuck they got from me. Lord. Like, <laughs> to her. If you act a certain way, if you do certain things, you can't you can't expect somebody. Like you say, like women start pulling back. It's like you meet a nigga, I cook for you, I do this, I do this, I do this, I do this, and it's all good. And just because you do these few good things, you think that negate all the bad shit or bullshit that come with you. Facts. You get what I'm saying? Like the real, real estate it up to where it's like. At the end of the day, if I jump in a relationship with you and I love you and I care for you. And because you get emotional and you show me you'll turn back on me because you're emotional, because you felt the fucking way about some shit. I how is that something I can trust? How is that something I can build with? When you get emotional, you're gonna turn on me. That like, is bad. To where most women don't oh, want to look in the mirror and don't want to look in the mirror and actually see like it ain't about oh 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 I give you my love I give you my support like it's like what Rick Ricky said in a sense every man needs something different you get what I'm saying it's not a general term for what you need to do as a woman or what you need to be as a woman but the main things that you can be that's universal is respectful of men period you got to have a respect for men in order to respect a man. 
if you out here like if you ain't got no like respectable men in your life you ain't gonna respect the man like most women don't respect men like dead ass so I, I i think i think a lot of women lose sight of that once a man ain't doing something to make them emotionally content <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, but let me ask you a question, Tone. Do we do we take that into account? Is or this, is this another thing where we're saying women got to go through hell and be done wrong and disrespect and disrespected, but still have to keep their respect for you? Where's the accountability exactly. for the man's behavior? But okay, say once again, check this out. I just said to you in my, you know, what I'm saying little rant that I just gave off. You get what I'm saying? That a bitch get what she give to me. Meaning you already moved a certain way, you already did a certain thing. We're not talking about what I whatever I've done in the sense of I jumped in this one way. Now, if you want to go and say like as far as if a nigga disrespecting you and you can't deal with it, then leave him. Don't give him a chance to leave you. That's like that's like ABC one, two, three. Don't be with somebody <laughs> that makes you feel away. Like on no side, no aim. But this question is geared towards something else, my sister. Well, when you made the statement about women don't respect men, if they have never had a man that's worth respecting in their lives, how yeah, do they yeah, learn that? It's the same though. Niggas ain't gonna respect nothing. You ain't gonna respect women unless you feel like you got women. Like it took, like I was talking to my grandma one day and I was just, and it, I, you know, I ain't, gonna call, I ain't gonna say bitches. I was saying female, female. She like, you keep calling women female, you don't respect women. And because she told me something, I, I, I changed up a lot of shit. You get what I'm saying? Because I see her as a woman in my life. She ain't no little girl or no, you know what I'm saying? I won't refer to her a certain way. So it's like, it, it's definitely true on both sides. But once again. But you know, I ain't got those problems in life. I'm smiling. I'm not All right. Right. All right, Stacey. Well, I got I got a question, right? Hold on, Lacey. Lacey, can I, got, can I ask you something about what they just said, though? But why, did, why is it that it's like a man got a date every other man that you didn't day like when he come into your prey in your space why it just can't be like it's a fresh it's a fresh start and you just you just give your hundred percent to show him the type of woman that you are why it gotta be like all of these different things I mean, and compartments that's, that's, in your that's what I'm you got, wait, wait, i'll answer your question because too many of us men and women included because men do that too have never yeah. taken why, the time to, to actually suffer? Why wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm answering your why, question. Why I, I am answering your question if you let me, because too many of us have never taken the time to heal after the last relationship. So they are dating you and everybody else still because they ain't got their mind right. Therapy is real, people, and you need to go. That's why. <laughs> okay, that's a good answer. I, I take that. I take that wholeheartedly. People be breaking up on Monday and in a new relationship on Tuesday. You cannot tell me that you have learned anything or got yourself together in that amount of time. It be it be the fear of being hurt. A lot of people just be too scared of being hurt again to even want to give people a chance. They keep a wall up, like men and women. You know what I'm saying? Like if you feel a certain pain, like you don't want to feel that shit ever again in life. You hear me? So you like so where somebody break you down past your walls and they hurt you again, that shit crazy. A lot of people fear that shit. Don't want to fear it. Don't want to feel that shit again. Well, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be open on the market then if you scared. Yep. It's like it's like it's like you scared go to you scared to get shot. You shouldn't be in the street. Like oh, that's <laughs> want to get shot. You scared want to people you know get shot in their own house. If you scared of going to jail, <laughs> if you scared of going to jail, you shouldn't be selling dope. You know, like it, it's kind of what come along with it. So if you if you out here dating, if you if you out here entertaining women or you out here entertaining a man, you should be emotionally available to get a person a fresh start to yeah. even to get a person a chance to see what type of man or what type of woman that you kind of are so they can see how dope you really are. But if you ain't gonna even give a person a chance, you shouldn't even you need to go, you need to go sit back in the room, read books, watch movies, do whatever you need to do to get it together, man. Yep. I agree. I agree. Did we lose Lacey? I'm back like cook crack. I'm oh, right. we did. Wayne, Wayne says uh, a nigga that still married will still marry you. He said, Tara, so long as a man holds up his end of the bargain, she should hold up her end as well. Of course. He says, Louis 
because men move off logic and women move off emotions. And he says a girl will never date another Leo in her life because a dude check no on a will you date me. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stacy. Hey, there are some very emotional men out there. First of all, let's just be clear. I mean, I'm I'm very emotional. I'm in touch. I'm in touch. I, I agree with that. I'm very emotional. But that's the problem. You agree with Tara oh. or Tom? With Tara. Oh. And me. I mean, it's I'm very emotional. So I wasn't. I wasn't replying to that because that. Okay, I, 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 I didn't share the stuff. No way. So go up right ahead. That's why I didn't either. All right, you ain't hear it, Tab. I had my phone ring. All right. Well, we got our last video. Check it. Make it quite, quite deep set bars. Check it. Make it quite, quite. There you go. It's a moment no, where like we realize uh, one or two things. There's either nothing more that I can do, or nothing more that I'm willing to do. And that's a very small window um, because on the other side of that window is just stand because I'm here, stand because I've been here, stand because I'm scared to be somewhere else, right? Um, at the moment, you know there's nothing else you can do or that you ain't going to do nothing else even if you could. You need to go ahead and start working on your exit plan. Yes. Now, now leaving may not be immediate. Uh, we have to be realistic. Everybody not in situations where they can up and bounce as easy as it said. But you need to start planning your exit, whatever that means for you. If your your uh, exit requires establishing safety elsewhere, if it if it requires you stacking your finances up, at, at, at the very moment, like that moment when you like, nah, that's I'm tapped. Because a lot of us realize that and we try to push, we try to dig like, bro, if, if you cannot show up in your relationship healthy and wholehearted, you need to leave. Even, even if you, it, even if it's you, you need to go because you're going it, to, it's going to get to the point where you punishing the person across from you because you're not even showing up in a healthy way. You showing up out of resentment. You showing up with a young know saying like, so once you realize you're in that space, like, like Kitty said, uh, a stagnation, just go ahead and start working on your exit plan. All right, Tab, go ahead and say you missed the first. Wow, I think we all are always in our exit plan. I think I read somewhere that said if you're in a relationship for four years, you spent two years breaking up. I agree with that. So yeah, I think people are always in their breakup process. People don't stay together, and maybe they shouldn't. Lord, yeah. All right, Stacy. I agree. I think people stay in a relationship way too long, and they keep <laughs> it and, and then let other people just walk their way right on in, and then they're gonna be out looking stupid. But I say, have a point. Always do you. All right, Nucci, Nucci Neptune. What the hell? Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about it. So look, yeah, look, dude, dude said all that shit perfectly. For real. Just being real. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even got no complaints about nothing he said. I ain't even gotta elaborate. That shit was fucking perfect. Uh if it's over with, it's over with. I I I'm a big advocate for that, and I'd have been said that many times on this motherfucking show. Shit, get the fuck out while shit still decent. You know what I'm saying? Don't fucking wait till shit get fucking horrible and shit and then try to run. You know what I'm saying? Leave. If it's over with, it's dead. Really, Mr. Therapist? <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Tara. Um, I, I, first of all, I love Trip. I think he has a lot of, of good knowledge and I, I like the way he thinks. Um, I agree with this. I think I think if you ever get to the point where you don't have anything else to give, neither one of you want to work on it anymore. It is best to end it. And I'm going to piggyback off what Nucci said. Don't wait till it's World War 27. Like, get, get to an amicable place. You don't want to be slashing tires and going to jail and doing none of that silly stuff. I, I think too often we get so angry and we stay so long that we forget we ever loved each other. And then it's just super toxic. But I will tell you this. Because it hurts me to hear what Tabitha said about people are constantly in a breakup phase because people don't stay together. If you got something good, hold on to it. And whatever the hell you got to do to make it work, make it work. Because at 43, almost 44, I'll be 44 in December. Nothing is, it sounds cute or appealing to me growing old alone. I don't think as humans we're meant to be alone. So when you find your person, hold on to them and do them right. 
But again, with what Tripp said, if you find that you with this person and they're not willing to change or work on it or get better, they just keep doing the same stuff over and over again, making you miserable and bitter. Get the fuck on and move on. And if you're a person that's doing it to somebody, you leave. This It's not okay whether you're the person doing it or it's being done to you in this short of a life to be miserable. And I mean, and I'm including myself in that because I've stayed in some shit much longer than I should have. But I'm so happy now that it's, I, I would never in my life let it get like this. Not without putting up a hell of a fight. So do people still slash tires and stuff? They still hey, hey, uh, Wayne said, basically, you don't shop for shoes barefoot. Look for your next girl while you're about to fire your current one. Let's stay on the path said, of positive always, good. He said, I will always go, say go with happiness. Absolutely. He said, nah, Tara, some people live to slash tires. Right, I was gonna say, Stacey, you ain't see that fucking Mustang outside that got spray painted up? Some girl tagged the shit out of that dude red Mustang. See, now you risking going to jail for a dude who gonna, why you in jail gonna be laid up with your sister? Stop playing these games, y'all. Damn, why it has to be the sister, though? Crazy. Anybody. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, she spray painted the shit out there, boy, Carl. Tom, what was your thoughts <laughs> up? Um, I think, I think dude looks like definitely spot on, like, for real, um, a lot of times you be pretty comfortable with. You gotta, you know, you gotta go through some uncomfortable shit to get to the, to the shit you need to get through. You know, like straight up, shit crazy. Hey, Tone, it's nice to see you. <laughs> what about you, Louie? Huh? I don't know. I thing of what dude was demonstrating as far as from the beginning, but I feel like uh, at the end he made some points, but I feel like, you know, every day you grow and you learn more about people, you learn more about yourself, you learn more about relations, so, you know, every day you might have a different perspective on how you see it, but I feel like if you read Let the me person, see the, uh, and their intentions, yeah, this is time about person energy. No, no I feel yeah. like, uh y'all 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 can build y'all can build upon what y'all what y'all have you shouldn't be so quick to give up neither I feel like you know a lot of times approach relationships with a defeated mindset it's like if you are already coming to it thinking that are oh, we only gonna make it six months or we only gonna make it three months or we only gonna make it a year like you are you shouldn't even be into a relationship i feel like when you go into that you should be thinking infinitely that way you can give it all you got if you ain't giving it all you got then you shouldn't be in it for a relationship you should just stay where you at because you you are already you are already lost so i feel like a lot of people's perspective Louis, did you listen to the same thing needs and, uh. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I'm speaking from my heart. I'm speaking from what I feel. So I would appreciate it if you quit cutting me off. Um, because I, keep, I feel like I hear certain things. So I'm speaking on relationships the same way you speaking on relationships. I'm just doing it my way. I was just thought we was on a topic. That's how I feel, though. Everybody see my say, man. And even if, but even with, even if, because you, I feel like if you love a person. Sometimes a relationship gonna get stagnant. But if you if you truly if you truly didn't been through the person, you should be so quick to give up. I feel like that you should give it, you should, you should always find something in your heart to try to go harder. And if you don't have that no more, then you should move around. You feel what I'm saying? That's how that's my you know. I think that's so toxic. We are but all that's what he's so said. stay like that. I know but that's what he sucks. said. Well, it sucks. So we are only people that duck. That's how that. I feel though. I know. I, 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 know I get you what you're saying. I'm yeah. saying that you what do you think is toxic, Tabitha? Trying in a relationship when things get tough? Like, see, y'all, How about somebody get it right the first time? Y'all don't know my story, though. Because nobody's perfect, baby. That's like, like almost gonna, never going to happen that way. Say what y'all going to say. I didn't been through I didn't been through some real life shit, so people that didn't stay loyal to me, I'm going to try to stay loyal to them. Now, if it get to the point to where our loyalty and respect and things like that, still with you, but I might go through some shit with you just because you probably didn't been through some shit with me. It ain't about it being toxic. It's about I'm the type I'm gonna give you what you give me. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. That's just my that's just my experience though. All right, uh, 
We got a comment. Toya says communication is key and be willing to examine yourself. Yes, uh, ladies. Wayne, Wayne says they mama, terror, they mama. <laughs> Toya says, please don't waste your time, wasting time, breathe resentment. I'm still working on that one. And Wayne says, I can't make bricks without clay. If I'm drained from this, I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge. I mean, if you don't have nothing else left to give, then yes, that's when you leave. But I'm I'm only talking about working said. on something. I'm only talking about something where people are working on it together. You can't just have one person doing it and the other person still doing the same shit. That's just not going to work. All right, go ahead, Rick, go ahead, Ricky. Everybody's saying the same thing that he said in the video just way longer and stuff. And I'm just like, he said the really? same thing. Get really. He said but Ricky, sometimes literally. you give us dissertations. Let us be in our emotions tonight if that's what the fuck we want to live. Terry, you always in I your emotions. Like, so I am one like big bottle of emotion. I'm, I'm really taking up the loop. Your <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm going to let you know the same thing. I'm gonna I'm let you have that just because I'm in a better place right now. So I'm gonna let. Oh you have yes, it's the much calmer, Ricky. Let me see when I can bring the oven back. It, you don't have to worry about it. She's not coming back. <laughs> I, I'm I'm non-confrontational. I'm just like whatever. Okay, you got it. I told you. I know what you're taking now. <laughs> I'm not taking anything. I know I'm what you got. I'm taking now. happiness. That's it. I'm just taking I happiness. I know what's happiness. I don't know why I tell you comment ain't showing, but it says everyone needs to be willing to examine themselves. Yes. You read it already. No, well, it, it bears being said again because I think a lot of people have a problem looking at no, themselves. No, she, she said it again, <laughs> and, oh, and okay. admitting when they are wrong about something because Lord knows that has been an issue of mine damn near my whole life. Still is. It's not. It's an idiot. No, I, mean, Ricky, no, I digress. Ricky, we can roll the tape on your ass, boo boo. Let's stop. Ricky, let your ass to Ricky. <laughs> I, I wholeheartedly agree with everything that he said. And he specifically said when you have done all you can and you get to the point where you're not willing to do it anymore or you were just so drained from trying, that's when you leave. He didn't say anything about, you know, you don't start this way. He's specifically speaking on when you're leaving and he said it's a very fine line between it that, that was it I, I wholeheartedly agree I shared this shit because I wholeheartedly agree and I think people don't understand that just because you're saying you're leaving does not mean that you're leaving right away but you're leaving you've checked out of it you're done like you've done everything you possibly can and I being understand. stagnant is one thing it's not that I'm going to leave you because we're stagnant it's because We've tried. We kept trying. We kept trying. I'm drained. I have nothing left. If my battery's on zero, your battery's on negative 68, there's nothing left. <laughs> you still got negative 68 because you're only on zero. Yeah. And, I'm on and zero. You're on negative I 68. Whole, we have I nothing. I, whole... I, just seen this, I just seen that little snippet. So that's why I was saying from my perspective, because I, I felt like what he was saying was on point, but I didn't. I just heard him saying stagnation and going from station. So that's why I commented and made a full statement on what I I felt towards stagnation, because it just was one sided. And then sometimes it be like that. Sometimes when you get rails, it just be one sided rails, and you don't get a chance to hear the whole the whole storyline. You might have heard. It. I didn't though. I'm not even speaking on the whole storyline. I'm speaking specifically on just that little clip he just played. Like that was the beginning of that clip. Who's missing? What just happened? Somebody left. Stacy, Stacy, uh, off the screen. But I was just speaking specifically on just that clip because that was the first thing that he said in that clip. Like it wasn't like you had to hear the whole storyline. It was just that clip. That's why I said, "Did you hear what he said?" I didn't and you hear took even like, the whole clip. I heard part of the clip. That's that's what I asked. That was the question. And then you did like, everybody go. Look, Wayne says our relationships have an expiration date. Just enjoy it while it lasts, whether that's for a month or 25 years. Or to uh, y'all to uh, y'all Terrell, die whole Terrell, everybody was going while you keep on. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure everybody got their turn. Hooray. Enjoy yeah. it while it lasts. Cause it ain't shit forever. Right. You, didn't you say your grandmama and her man had been together for like forever? Yeah, hey, but look, it don't nothing last forever, not even our body. So that means my love. Right. Okay. Well, some, some people stay together till they die. So to, to you leave this. Hey, look. 
Tasha uh, says, do you tell people how you treated the person in your last relationship? Ooh, or do you ooh, just I, let them find out for themselves if they decide to stick around? Who said that? Oh, shit. That's no. a good question. Who said that? <laughs> I tell people, I tell them everything oh, I did, too. Go ahead, Ricky. Go ahead, Ricky. That was it. I, I literally, I tell people, I tell them everything I did. But most people be like, I don't want to hear about that, nigga. I don't want to hear about that. I'm like, all right, I tried to warn your ass. You didn't want to hear about it. Remember, I tried to tell you, like, this is why, like, I think part of that, yes. And I think some of it is people don't understand how some people are wired and why they do the things they do because people don't take the time to ask those questions about why they are how they are or how they got there. Uh, I feel like it's important. You need to know these things. I need to know if you grew up in a two-parent household or one-parent household, if you got mommy issues. I need to know why you do the things you do so it helps me to better understand how to deal with you and how we can progress or or regress. Either way, I feel like that's an important thing that you should know about people. And when people don't ask those questions, then they get into situations and then they sitting up there like, oh my God, how the fuck did this happen? I ain't know this about you. Damn, you do this? I ain't know that you was a klepto. out. Like, you don't ask these questions, so you don't know these things. You definitely should tell people how you was with the last person. 100% you should tell them. Tab. Hmm. <laughs> Look at Tab, like, hmm. Tab said all her exes what dead, think so she ain't got to worry about that. Like, hmm. Let me see. Tab right. said all her exes dead. They are. So do you tell people how you treated the person? Yeah. You nobody want to sit around and hear how good somebody else was. I don't. Nobody want to hear that. But yes, I do because if people want to learn me, they should want to know. But it's like it's a need to know. It's a need to know certain things. You need to know. People need to know that I was shot at. You know, and why I feel a certain way about like guns and like being careful with things and like why I move a certain way with stuff like that or why I have a I have a problem with being hollered at because of that or whatever. So it's not like. You getting your point across, but please don't holler at me because that's gonna send me here. Like, so yes, it was because of things with exes. So I think it's if that's somebody you plan to build a life with, they do need to know your your traumas, your negative, your past, the things that make you tick. So yes, I'm let them know what's needed to know. Right. You know? <laughs> Terror. Yeah, you gotta handle everything with finesse. You can't tell them like your woohoo spots, like, you know, because he used to do this. I mean, you gotta handle everything with class. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I agree with the ladies. I am very open with that as well. We do, and we do it here on a panel. So I would think it should be easy for most of us here, because if the person ever knows what we're doing on this panel, all they gotta do is come and watch any of the shit that we've ever said. But I agree. I think it's so important to tell people who you are and how you are to the best of your ability. You may not remember every single argument and how you reacted it for every argument, but I definitely say, you know, that definition they give you, you know, women being crazy. I fit that. And, you know, I have a bad temper or a quick temper or, you know, if you cheat on me, I will kill you. Like, I, I try to be as honest as I possibly can. <laughs> um, don't, don't speak past it like that. Like that. Like that. Right right in you guys have heard me say this. You guys have heard me say this a million times. So I try to be up front. Real quick, we was all like, no. <laughs> uh, I try to be as honest as I can. conversation podcast does not <laughs> we do not one person's views is not our entire views are that is correct she, Tara is speaking right. for herself but I do I try to be as honest as I can because I don't want to I don't I want which when you meet me and when you see me is what you get I don't want to blindside you and not tell you the stuff that you're going to find out anyway because again I date with intention like I don't want to keep doing this over and over again every six months or every year it's not fun the whole getting to know somebody new and trying to make it work. So I want to give you the best impression of me that I can. Um, so, and, and most times they're like, yeah, you're exactly what you said you were. So, and not all of it's good, but I warned you about that. A lot of people say that's not fun. And it is fun. Dating over and over again, never that's having someone to call your own. Meeting cool. Tara, remember, y'all picked, awesome remember? Mama, y'all picked that dude, remember? Y'all picked him, the three months awesome. awesome. I mean, yeah, but see, a lot of times when they aren't truthful about who they are and then you figure out that this is not what you want, you got to start over with somebody else. And people are weird. Look at all the stuff y'all was saying earlier today. Like, I just don't, I don't have time. Uh, Flanagan says, women will sit there and tell you horror stories about all the shit they was doing for the nigga that dodged them out. Oh, well, dogged them out while they not doing half that shit for you. 
Yeah. 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 Wayne says, yes, I tell people what happened when the conversation comes up. I'm a acquired taste, so I'd rather let you know that it's different over here early rather than be good or bad. I hate I hate wasting time. Why do all Leo say they're acquired taste? Because they are. <laughs> they are funny. You better well, damn well believe they are. Because my what sister about definitely Nucci? is. Nucci Bango. Uh, shit, I think people should definitely uh, disclose certain things up front, you know what I'm saying, or whatever uh, about themselves. It makes it easier on the get to know you motherfucking time. Um, and shit, and then on top of that, the motherfucker can decide right then and there if they really want to fuck with you off of the real shit that you disclosed up front. You know what I'm saying? They can decide right then and there if they want to go further. You know what I mean? And stuff. So, yeah, I think people need to get off the bullshit and get on this really learning each other thing. You know what I'm saying? All this uh, rushing into shit. You don't know a motherfucker for real? Nah. This ain't Wayne, that. Wayne just said a comment that ain't showing up. Though. He said, Jared Flanagan, you making too much sense for the internet. All right. What about you, uh, Tone? I explaining who I am and like if I'm fucked up, that ain't got shit to do with how I treated my partner in the past. So, like, a motherfucker asking how I treated somebody is weird as shit to me. Like, I don't want to know how you treated no nigga. I don't go fuck how you treated that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what if she killed her last three boyfriends? Wouldn't you want to know? Ain't, that ain't how you treated. That's what you did. Tell me you killed the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. Like, you could you could have been, like, every day you could have just been, like, a, a beautiful wife to him. And then one day you just decided to kill him. You treated him lovely, but you murdered his ass. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Oh my god! Like for real, so there, yeah, like nah, it's not. Nah, you don't need to know how. I don't want to know none, nothing about nothing because we we supposed to be creating a new life, a new everything. So I don't even want to think about anything I did about my past. Like straight up, that shit fucking weird. It's Halloween. What so you used to treat that nigga this way? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you're right. gonna know she's caring and kind. What the fuck, caring and kind? No, I don't give a fuck what you. No, what you did with him ain't gonna be what you do with me anyway. Like that's that's like I'm a different fucking human right. being. Like them, do, we're not gonna experience the same type of thing. I'm not like, and then they go back to what Louis was saying, like motherfuckers holding on to shit in the past. And, and coming into a relationship, but you looking about with my ex, I did this for him, and I did. This. I don't give a fuck. Concentrate on what the fuck you supposed to do for me. I don't know that it's specifics like that. I think it's she says, right. you know, I was right. a submissive. I let him lead the relationship. He worked, and I stayed at home. Like I played the ro this role, not I licked his toes and no shit like that. I don't think it's specific. Uh, it, don't it don't matter what you. I don't care what you. <laughs> he, he stays consistently saying that though. He does all the time, but I mean that's the question it's asked. He don't want us. He don't want to know nothing about nothing. Wayne says I can't speak for all Leos, but no one on this panel knows another person like me. No matter what capacity you know me in, and he said y'all will all agree I'm a different nigga. Well, you are PK. <laughs> what does that even stand for? Problem King. Oh, is that for real? Because I don't know coming from you. <laughs> it's, on, it's, it's on his arm. You ain't never seen that problem, King? No, I have not. Oh, okay. How you see it on his arm, Tara? Nigga, shut the fuck up. He never had his arms on the screen. <laughs> but you went to a baseball game with him in a t-shirt. You see the damn thing. You can't see him and not see the massive ass tattoo. I was looking at the field. Oh, wait a minute, is that? A I, mean, I can't even. I don't remember where it is, but he and that's his name on all his social media. I hate you, Lacey. So <laughs> what you, what you about? like, bro. That's, 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 that's all I was, I was asking a simple question. Uh -huh. I'm sure you were. Go ahead, Louie. <laughs> <Stop. Mike Swag. laughs> I'm, I'm good with everybody, where everybody coming from. Um, you know, I feel like but she summed it. It's on a need to know basis, basically. Like, you know, um, I don't be caring what ha really happened with nobody else. That ain't that, that don't concern. Like, I mean, honestly, I, I, I care, but I don't care. Like, 
if it's something that you know I need to know, then yeah, put me on point. Don't don't leave me in the dark on something you know I need to know. But outside of something I need to know, I really don't care. Like it really, it really don't affect me because whatever you did in that situation, I don't think you're gonna try to do it over here with me because it ain't about what you was doing. It's gonna be about what I'm doing too. So my energy gonna affect your energy in the same way. So we gonna create something that's gonna work for us. So if you cooked and cleaned or didn't cook and clean or whatever, all that, that really, I don't care, honestly. So it's like, I'm with Tone on that one. I, I'm trying to figure out what we trying to demonstrate. So. Uh, hey, I see, are you there? Yeah, I was reading, uh, I don't know why his comment ain't show up, but tripping. Uh, Wayne says, yeah, Tara, that's exactly what it means. And Tara, we looked at each other in the eyes and ate cookies at the baseball game. We did. <laughs> and we went oh, with our oh, moms. Oh, hey, look. And he, oh, said, well, he, he said, well, we didn't look in each other's eyes, but definitely <laughs> drank liquor and ate cookies. We drank hell of liquor, and it was hot as <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. All right, man, let me do this. It's great, guys. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Boy, somebody background loud. So were you? Who? You be getting your little issues off trying to sneak and shit. Who? Lacey, tell my we crazy. What, what you talking about? I ain't even did that. All I did was ask uh-huh. questions. That's it. Can a brother ask some questions? <laughs> no. All right, man. Look, I guess I ain't gonna ask no questions. All right, here go. The <laughs> Hello, hello. I'm trying to get uh, Andrea, please. Uh, who's calling? This is Dr. Hendricks. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I got. How you doing, Doc? How you doing? I'm all right. She's not Andrea. She's not in right now. It's, uh, you want to leave a message or something? Uh, yeah. I'm, leave her a message. Uh, you know, she came in. She had an appointment this morning. Right, right, uh, right, right, right. Anything okay? Right. Oh, everything's good. Everything's good. You know, I've been Andrew's uh, gynecologist for quite some time now, so. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right, right, right. Okay, well, listen, can, can see if she's able to get back in tomorrow. I need to get one more good look at her. And one more good look? Is everything okay? Uh, I just want to check a few things. You know, if I get one more good look a good look at her, I think I'll be fine. One? Hmm. <sighs> Don't y'all do this like once, uh, once or twice a year? And you want her to come right back to, is, is everything okay, dog? You can tell me now, is everything all right with my wife? Uh, yeah, well, it's Greg, right? Yeah, yeah, it's Greg, doc. What's up? Talk to me. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to um, get her back in here tomorrow morning. She can be in about 9. And I just, you know, I'm not I'm not privy to tell, tell anyone what's going on with her. And there's nothing really serious going on, okay? So you can relax on that part. But I just want to get one more good look at her, just to be sure. One more good look for what, Doc? If nothing serious going on. Well, I I I I think uh, um, think what? Well, she, she she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Great. Uh, I, hey man, off, oh, off the record, I, I I'll tell you something, man. That I and I don't really you know talk like this, but off the record, man, you you and I, man, we'd be uh, <laughs> we're the only ones, aren't we? What? What do you say? You and I, we're the only ones, aren't we? The only ones, what? What are you talking about? What, what, what are you saying? Well, you know, we, we're the only ones that have seen it, you know? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what, what are you saying, now? Uh, just just stating that, you know, off the record, you, you and I, we're the, we're, the, we're the only ones, you we're, know? We're the only ones what? What are, what are, what are you saying, now? I'm not understanding you. What are you saying? We are the only ones what? Well, well, we, we have, you and I have something in common. I mean, you and I are the only ones that, that's, uh, you know, Basically, seen Andrea. What you know? You, wait a minute. I don't know. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. I, what are you trying to say to me, Doc? We don't. We the only ones. We got something special, something in common. We the only ones. What are you trying to say to me, Doc? I mean, I mean, just between you and I, Greg. I mean, come on. You and I are the only ones that have. You and I. What? Ain't no you and I. What? 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 what is it? You and I. Ain't no you and I. What you are you saying, I, Doc? We're the only ones that have seen Andrea. You know, in that way. Wait a minute. That's not a topic of discussion, Doc. What What are you trying to say? What are you saying about my wife? I mean, I, she's amazing, man. I mean, uh... Whoa! 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 Well, how do you to tell me about my wife being amazing, Doc? You lost your damn mind? 
Well, I'm just saying she looks she looks amazing. She looks amazing. I, I, don't, I don't mean any harm you, by what you I'm ain't saying. Whoa, 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 whoa. You ain't supposed to be looking at her in that type of fashion, Doc. What the hell is wrong with you? What type of unprofessional <laughs> is this here? You tell me my wife is amazing. You lost your damn mind? I can't believe I'm getting a phone call like this. This is the most unprofessionalist I've ever heard. But I, let's keep in mind, Greg, I, I, I wasn't really calling you. I was calling her. You know? Well, you ain't talking to her. You're talking to me. And you're going to bring that type of on the phone to me? Have you lost your mind? Okay, you're going to well, be a professional. Well, listen, is, is, is there a way you can pass the message that I'd like I to come tomorrow so I on her. I ain't passing nothing to her. You hear me? You're going to make me do something crazy to you. I don't believe you called me with that type talking about my wife. Me and you and I got something in common. She's amazing. Have you lost your damn mind? Sir, I didn't mean to. I didn't think. I just yeah, well, you being, did. You did. I, no. Well, I, 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 was just, a little, no, no, no. I was being a little playful with you. I didn't think that was going to. Well, this ain't no, uh, this ain't no play. What's wrong with you? Hey, we're playing. I'm not playing. Don't you ever. Matter of fact, Doc, I, I need to see you. I need to have, I need to see to have a session with you. So we can talk about this here. You lost your dog on man talking about my wife? Amazing to you? You're the most unprofessional. How she even go to you all these years? Uh, huh? All right, was there any way you can get her to come in so I can get one good look at her tomorrow? No, hell no, she ain't coming down to that little raggedy. Hell no, she ain't coming down. I'm coming down there. When I come down there, we, oh no. Matter of fact, I'm on my way down there. You, how long are you going to be there? We can, fit, we can, we can straighten I, this I, out. I've, I've left the office for today. I just wanted to call and see if I could get one good look at her for the No, no, there you go again with that one more good dog on look. No, no. Let me tell you one thing, Doc. She ain't coming out of you no more. No more. No damn more is she coming back to see you. Uh, well, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to lose a customer. Not not like I definitely No, you ain't going to you ain't gonna lose a customer. I'm coming there tomorrow. Make me an appointment. You can check my out tomorrow. You see how you like that. Uh, sir, that, that's, what? that's not possible. Okay, okay I, I definitely don't, oh, don't want to lose tomorrow. her. Yeah, you like it I, or not. See, it's going to hurt me if I lose her as a client. Oh, I don't want to miss seeing her. It's going to hurt you. It ain't going to hurt you that you lose her. It's going to hurt you when I get there. Don't you worry about her. Okay, Don't Greg. You you got, Greg, you got to calm down. Okay. I'm calm. I'm calm. I was being, I was being playful, and I, no, I should not no have done that. Play. We too, we you too old to be playful. Play. I'm seeing you in the morning. First thing in the morning. Uh, okay. What, uh, time, what time? you can I, can I, Ten o'clock. Can I ask you something, Greg? Do you have a brother named Tyron? What they got to do with anything? What they got to do with you know, my brother? What they got to do with you? Okay. What I wanted to tell you is. This is not Dr. Hendricks. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your brother Tyron got me the prank phone call with you. I don't give a who you. I'm coming to see you. What? What you about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm Greg, 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 pull up, take this out. Your brother Tyron. What? Yeah, this is this is nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your brother Tyron got me the prank phone call with you. That's what I thought you said, man. Come on, man. Oh, oh, man, let me sit down for a minute, man. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Boy, you lost your damn. <laughs> Hold on. That nigga told me, I don't give a fuck who you. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Who? That nigga said, hey, man, you and I, we're the only one who's <laughs> It was crazy, man. All right, nigga, that was right. Yeah, man, look, man, that is the end of our show, man. We had another crazy, y'all already know the arguments and the debates always happen on the wait, wait a minute let me say something Go ahead. i am so sorry for today you guys so i apologize for not being on the show i've had a lot going on so please forgive me that part all right nucci let them know where they can find you where you got anything coming up Nucci Banga. Promote yourself. Nigga. What's the word? What's the word? Uh, look, I got this uh, America's Top Hitmaker shit going on. Uh, look, Ludo here right now. You know what I'm saying? You on here. So uh, I, did, I did get accepted into performing at Coast to Coast as well. So, so y'all on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Let's get it. I'm going to coast to coast. Uh, Let's get it. Wait a minute. I voted, I voted twice. You know what? Let's make it make sense. 
Ah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Look, America, stop hit making that shit still cracking. They was doing fucking double votes today. I don't know who got it. Uh, what's, what's up with that, man? But still I'm in still top, in the top five. Top so, four, yeah, and they doing top 10 next. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't, I ain't tripping. I'm still up there. You know, uh, I, I think I'm going to go for a push after they do this, after they call this top five shit. So, how can people uh, vote? Um, Follow me on fucking Facebook or Instagram. I'll be doing the posts on there. I also do it on my uh, Current Scene Studio page or Current Scene Music page on Facebook. So you can follow Current Scene Music STA on Facebook or Instagram as well. Um, it'll be on there. Uh, look for stuff coming up about this uh, Coast to Coast performance and stuff on September 16th at Red Flag. That's, that's going to pop off. It's going to be nice. Um, Another shit cracking too, you know what I'm saying? I'm working on shit. Like Wayne said, that boy said, your wife is talented. All right, Stacy, let them know where they can find you. You got anything coming up? Tomorrow I will be in my dealership class getting my license, that part. Let's see. Um, I can't talk about what's the next day, but it's uh, happening too. Uh, let me see, let me see. Oh, uh, my sincere condolences to my son and his family as far as his grandpa Julius Gurley passed away. So, um, I'm, um, yeah, we're trying to plan funeral ar arrangements and, and things. So, um, that he was like my father. So, um, y'all, I don't know. I've lost so many people. That's why I say life is too short. Y'all gotta, you know, do what you do and, and make it make sense and live life. But okay, y'all. Good show and all that. And yeah. All right. Tara, let them know where they can find you. You got anything coming up? Um, Instagram, uh, opinionated, um, opinionated underscore sense. YouTube, opinionated sense. And of course, my podcast, One Man and One Woman, the podcast on all streaming platforms. Ricky, <laughs> Ricky, let them know where they can find you. You got anything coming up? <laughs> Ricky, pretty Ricky, what they used to call her. I guess Ricky gone tab. Let them know where they can find you. You got anything coming up? I do. Um, tab with the Chantel on Facebook and Instagram. We are finally gonna try. Okay, we're gonna try to <laughs> <finish the show. laughs> it's hella drove. It's a yeah, you feeling hella drove right now, huh? <laughs> It's hella drove right now. Two. It's hella drove two right now. <laughs> I'm really excited about an audition that I have coming up. Actually, it was um my name got thrown up in a room that I didn't know about, and it was kind of exciting. So even if you know I'm not selected, but just to know that my name was being thrown around in other rooms around like some greats or whatever is pretty exciting. Just to know, like even from this type of platform or whatever. So just you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep doing this every Monday. Because it does open other doors. Yeah, and it's going to tell you, uh, everybody who stays is going to be popping for real. You already know. Let's get it. All right, y'all. And y'all already know, man. Just stay tuned. I got a whole lot of stuff going on that y'all will always see. That is the end of our show. We will see y'all next Monday. Good night, everybody. Bars. Bars. <laughs>